What's up, y'all? Welcome back. G Cup Series here from Indianapolis, Indiana. At the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Well, technically, we're in Speedway, Indiana, but still. The Indianapolis Motor Speedway getting ready for the Brickyard 400 here. Marquee event on the MG Cup schedule. Getting ready to send them off. Jeff Gordon is on the pole here and at number 24 who is outside the 31 of Jeff Burton the Jeffs have sweep, swept the front row behind them Kyle Bush and Matt Kenton then there's the 31 and the 20 or excuse me Behind them, and there's the 11 of Denny Hamlin, the 99 of Carl Edwards, rounding out the top six. The 86 car is still sitting on pit road, seemingly having an issue. But um, I guess he'll get out there and get rolling pretty soon. Yeah, there he goes. And is he gonna spin? Yes, he will. Gotta continue the tradition. Spinning before the green flag even blew. It's gonna keep that thing rolling now. It's gonna probably miss the start here as he tries to get around. He's coming off turn two right about now. Base car is in. We are about to begin here from Indianapolis. Chris Mack halfway down the back stretch. He's entering turn three. But the field is now accelerating. We are green at Indy. Chris Mack coming off a of turn four. He about made it. He's close. But heading through one and two for the first time. Here comes Kyle Busch looking to the inside. Side by side for the race lead off turn number two. This track known to be wild and chaotic as these guys try and funnel down in a three and four turn three cleanly for the leaders not turn four though as the round goes Ryan Newman back up the track Montoya's on his roof yet again more cars sliding in big crash for the 41 he's rolling Reed Sorensen's upside down Yaley's upside down. That's three cars flipping here in a wild wreck at Indianapolis. As I was just about to mention, this track in its chaotic nature, usually the most chaotic races of the season, occur here. A lot of damage off of turn number four. The trucks race that IRP last night. And that's not too far down the road. Oh man, you see the. There's a lot of cars up and over here. Tony Rain's barrel rolls. Mark Martin in the 01 is involved. Rain's got shipped down the racetrack, hard into the inside wall, back across the track, up and over. The 18 rides the wall on his side. Yaley's gonna roll. The 42 of Montoya. Look at Yaley still on his driver's side door, finally rolls. Montoya flips over. 41 goes flipping. I mean, there are cars everywhere here. It's like three or four separate wrecks combined into one. You see that one happened there. And then avoiding that wreck, these cars get together. Sorensen just gets rolled onto his roof. The incident with Reigns and Yaley was separate from the one that kicked things off with Ryan Newman getting turned sideways. So about three different wrecks broke out all at once in the same spot of the racetrack and all combined into one. Green flag is back in the air. We're racing yet again here for Mindy. Here comes Kenza to the lead, but here comes Kyle Busch behind him. The 48 of Jimmy Johnson is back there as well. The two of Kurt Busch also following through as we head down into turn three now. 
It's going to be three wide through three and four. But here comes Kyle Busch. Caution is out yet again. Another big crash. This time it's Dale Jarrett. And he looks like he went up and over. He's got roof damage on that car. No, he just hit the wall so hard that it damaged the roof a little bit. Got more spinning up here. The 19 of Sattler completely destroyed like he was at the million dollar shootout. I mean, almost the exact same damage. One car hit the attenuator. That's our million dollar shootout winner, Sterling Marlin. Wow. Man, Marlin goes from the highest of highs, winning the million dollars, and now the lowest of lows getting spun out. Boom, right into the pit attenuator. And I don't know what the 78 just did. Physics stopped working there for a second. As that car whipped around. Look at this. Boom! Right into the pit road barrier. <sighs> there are cars everywhere, man. I'm surprised Yaley was still even rolling. He's out of the race now, but that car went upside down earlier. He comes flying through. On the brakes, on the brakes, on the brakes. Too late. Right into the door of McMurray. Brian Vickers is destroyed. John Andretti is torn up. Bringing back that eight, that zero car, excuse me, from a couple seasons ago. That was originally driven by Jack Sprague. Green flag is in the air once again. Jimmy Johnson, as we go to single file restarts now, Jimmy Johnson's your leader teammate, Kyle Busch behind him. And I believe we're already wrecking. No, we're not. Chris Mack, I believe, is out of the race. Had an issue with that car. So it seems like whatever issue they had firing that car back up seems to have uh, taken them out of the race here. The five of Kyle Busch looks to the low side for the lead. Oh, Johnson's in the wall. Kyle Busch saves it, but Johnson spins, and we're going to wreck him up big time yet again. The 31 of Jeff Burton's on his roof. More cars piling in. Burton sliding around upside down. Our outside pole sitter is out of this race. Chaos here from Indy. Man, I told y'all this race was wild. Let's take a look at what happened. It was Johnson who got turned sideways first. And we're going to watch the replay on that here. Trying to give enough room to his teammate, Kyle Busch. They both missed the bottom of the racetrack. Into the outside wall goes Johnson, and that car immediately just dies. He must have hit it. He must have blown up as he hit it. I mean, he was clearly... Something definitely went wrong. The car just... He gets into the wall. And gets hit by the five. I believe that engine or something happened. He lost power as they made contact. 17 back there checks up. Johnson's car is completely locked up and nowhere for these guys to go. 31 gets hit by David Reagan in the 6 and toppled over onto his roof. Collects his teammate as well, Kevin Harvick. There's uh, Paul Menard in the 15. 38 to David Gilliland. Caution waves yet again. So single file restarts change. Nothing. We're going to double them back up. Green flag is back in the air. We're racing once again. Here we go. And things are only going to get more and more crazy here as we're past halfway. Coming to, it's about 10 laps to go now. Coming to 9 to go. Oh, and there goes Truex. He's going to save it. Boyer doesn't, and a couple cars spin behind him. Biffle up into the wall. The 45, the 2, the 10, the 66, and these cars are absolutely KO'd. Jeff Gordon hits the brakes. He doesn't know where to go. 
all the way down to the inside wall here. He's going to have to cut back up. The 10, I don't think he sees him there. Gordon's trying to get back over, and then the 10 does let him in. Denny Hamlin is your race leader. Wow, talk about chaos. Green flag back in the air. The 11 and the 20. Teammates side by side for the race lead. Tony Stewart, this is his home track. Born and raised in Indiana. Looking, or not, maybe not born and raised, but raised in Roscoe, Illinois. Or, uh, ugh, I'm tripping. Frick, what, what's it called? I don't know. But we're wrecking yet again. I'm saying all the wrong city names. I'm trying to say, uh, oh, side by side, side by side, it's going to be Hamlin. <clears throat> We're about to go green yet again. And, uh, while we wait for that, because I need a <clears throat> break. He's from Rushville, Indiana. That's what I was trying to say. About to say Roscoe, Illinois. It's crazy. That's where Danica's from, ain't she? That she was born in Wisconsin, but. Yep, Roscoe, Illinois. There we go. <clears throat> Green flag's back in the air, though. Tony Stewart, hometown hero, out front. With one. Or, excuse me, I'm tripping. Um, I'm. That is the wrong, absolute wrong race distance. I'm sitting here thinking it's 24 laps. It's 30 laps. We got coming to six to go this time by Denny Hamlin and Carl Edwards are right on the back bumper of that 20. Are the Gibbs boys going to work together or are they going to go for it? Looks like Hamlin's going to push that 20 down the front straight away. He sees the 99 of Edwards right there behind them. Will he pull out and make the move? Stewart slides up. Here comes Hamlin to the inside. Carl Edwards is right there behind him. He's going to try to follow him through. Edwards looking for second. The 11, the 20, the 99. All fighting for the lead here. As Tony Stewart is falling back, Denny Hamlin goes to the front. Put him to the lead. Now here comes the 99, Edwards. He's going to look for the race lead. Underneath Hamlin, they're going to be side by side for the lead. Here comes Edwards with another run at it. He's taking his 99 off his depot Chev uh, Ford, excuse me, to the front past these two Chevys, these Joe Gibbs Chevys. Now Stewart back to the point, to the point. The 99 of Edwards falling back as the Gibbs boys work together yet again to get back past them. But shout out to Robbie Gordon running in fourth place right now as he, uh, he he's a former IndyCar driver, raced in the Indianapolis 500, and uh, has turned his share of laps around here in the open wheel car. <clears throat> cars has been here in the MG Cup Series since the start and he's having a good fourth place day so far and he's actually falling back to fifth as Kenseth is a man on a mission right now he's trying to catch these guys up here they're all in draft range all within a second and the way these guys are fighting for it might allow these guys to reel them in Edwards falls back but here comes Stewart underneath Edwards couldn't get there Tony Stewart going to try it again, heading into 3 and 4. Here comes Tony. Looking low, can't quite. Here 
comes Edwards yet again. Carl Edwards with another run down the back straightaway. Still tucked in behind the 11. Possibly waiting to make his move. Hamlin slides up. Here comes Carl Edwards to the inside. Tony Stewart following through. Stewart's going to take him three wide. He's looking low. All the way to the bottom goes Stewart. Can't quite get there. He's going to have to fall back in line behind the 99. Gets back into the draft with two laps to go from Indianapolis. Carl Edwards continues to lead here at Indy. And now Hamlin falls back to third. Here comes Tony Stewart. Back up the P1. Side by side for the race lead. Don't forget about Matt Kenseth, though. He's closing that gap little by little every single lap. Robbie Gordon's falling back. He's happy with his fifth place run. Here comes Kenseth. They're three wide for the race lead yet again. Stewart takes it for a split second, but now here comes Denny Hamlin. Green Eggs and Hamlin and Tony Stewart. One, two. Teammates taking the white. One lap to go for Tony Stewart in the 20. Here comes Hamlin yet again. He's got another run on his teammate at Joe Gibbs Racing. Can we get a JGR 1-2? Here comes Hamlin, though. Thought about making a move, decided against it. Not the time, not the place. He's got that 99 hot on his tail. Doesn't want to drag that 99 car through. Can the 11 make one final move through 3 and 4? Here he comes. Turn 3. Couldn't quite get to the inside. Does he have one last shot? No, here comes Edwards to his inside. There's going to be a lap car in Truex who checks everybody up. Hamlin's going to fall back. Here comes Edwards. Not enough. Tony Stewart is going to win from Indianapolis. Wow. What a drive from Stewart here at his home track as he takes the victory. But man, that got really sketchy at the end off of turn number four. They caught up to Martin Truex Jr. right off of four. Stewart dives to the inside, has to check up a little bit to avoid running into the back of that one. Blocked Edwards, and that was enough to take the win. Man, that was crazy stuff. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe. We'll see y'all next time, and until then.